Hey, welcome back to Power by 8 Racing YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about the BMRS fittings and how to make the stainless steel hoses. I had previously recorded this and lost all of the footage, so I needed to make a few more hoses and figured I'd at least uh, show you that, that process. So um, what we're going to be making today is 1-10, which is going to be for the oil feed line and uh four dash eight hoses that's going to be for the two for the diff cooler two for the trans coolers power by your old show and so with the bmrs line the reason i switched to it is i was previously using the red horse stuff and i just think it's just trash and um the bmrs stuff you can really really get it um it's really flexible this is a uh, dash 16. This was the um, main feed line to the uh, dry sump pump. And this is the same one uh, under the Red Horse brand. This is the stainless sleeve for BMRS. The, it's the same whether you get the stainless or not. But this is a dash 16. And if you, if you notice, this doesn't kink. Um, I mean, I can pull this pretty tight before it even starts to kink a little bit right there. That's about what you can get out of a dash 16 line. Now this same circle is about the size of my fist. If I was to try to make that with the red horse, I mean, right here, it's already starting to kink on itself. And if I make that same, same size circle, that's a little bit bigger than my fist, but right here, it's already pinched. Um, anyways, not that you're going to make a circle like that with the brake line. It just makes it so much easier to move around. The other nice thing about it is, are, are the fittings. Um, they sell reusable fittings like this, which has appealed to a lot of guys, but they also sell the crimped fittings. Now, unless you have the tool to crimp these, you're not gonna be able to do that. But the nice thing is, is if you have time and you can order the crimp fittings, BMRS will crimp these for free. They'll mail you the product, you'll make your hoses, you'll get everything set, you'll mail them back, they'll crimp them for you within a day, and then they'll mail them back to you. So obviously it takes a little bit of planning and unless you have the tool or you're making tons and tons of hoses, it might not be so um, cost effective for you to buy the tool. Um, yeah, going to this style of a hose is just so much better. Um, and that's why I've replaced every single one of my hoses. There's not another, there's not a Red Horse brand hose on the car. Uh, everything's been swapped out and um, but it's all BMRS and there's a couple of um, Earl's fittings and that's just because of uh, I trust that brand uh, but not houses there's just adapter fittings and things like that might be Earl's uh, the and then I think the two the, the crossover tubes are some some eBay brand but they're they're for steam ports and it's not uh, and a part that I'm really, really worried about failing on me. Now, um, with the crimped fittings, um, it's a little bit easier. I haven't made any of the reusable fittings with BMRS, but looking at their catalog and how they want you to build them, I think that the crimped fittings are actually easier to make than the reusable fittings. But with that, uh, the crimped fittings, you have to buy uh, a tool and you'll have to have a tool for each one. So this is the dash 10, that's the dash eight, because like I said, we're gonna be making dash 10s and dash eights today. What you have to do, and then you gotta get some assembly lube as well. So this is gonna screw in here, and really it's doing exactly what you think it's doing, and it's just opening up the hose so that you can fit the um, tool in there. Or, or the fitting in there and it slides right in once you do that so it's actually pretty nice so what we're going to do is start with the side that's harder to get to which is the 90 on the oil pump so i believe this hose if you watched one of the other videos i talked about how the the oil feed line was wrong length and i didn't understand why it had happened because it was like an inch short well i think i understand what happened this was in my bin which means that i probably cut the right size and grabbed the wrong size, slapped it together, mailed it off and got the wrong size. I think this is the right size, but because this side has already been flared open, that's what's making me believe that. So what you have to do is you have to put your 
sleeves on first. So you put these sleeves on. This is the part that goes to the end of the hose. That's the wrong side. So you can see there's some stuff in there. Um, because this side has already been flared, I'm gonna slide it on this side. Normally you would slide it on that way, but like I, I can't uh, because of that side being flared already. Uh, you can usually get it on. It's stainless steel, so don't poke yourself. And let me just make sure. Once this slides forward, you can tell um, since this side's cut already, I'm just gonna put it on and then I'll show you what happens on the other side. And then this slides forward onto itself. So this one, um, it's gonna give us a little bit of a problem just because of it being moved around. But anyways, that's what's going to happen. Um, there we go. So that's gonna be done. They're gonna crimp that. So what I normally will do when I mail it off just so I don't lose it is I might tape this that way it stays. All right, so then for this side, what will happen is we take this to the car. So this fitting goes right up in here, right onto this. And this is the 90 that it sits on. So I'm gonna get this on here. So you always make one side first. Don't try to guess. Just take the time to do this. Uh, get one side on. And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna see if this is the right size real fast. I think I want to give myself a little bit more. Um, yeah, yeah. I want about an inch longer there. So we're gonna go ahead and make a new hose. So we'll jump back when I got the long hose on here. All right. So I've got the hose. This has got tons of length on it. So um, what I do. So I put it where I want it. I lay it out right about where it's gonna be cut and then I wrap it with uh, tape. And then I mark it with a marker where I think it needs to be. So in this case, I will position everything where I want it, uh, which is, I'm gonna read something about, right, right about, right about here. Here, I might go just a tad rig. Okay, so that's my mark. So then I will take it all apart. So, and then here I cut it with a cutoff wheel. I don't like to use the, um, the big cutters for this. Uh, it seems to squish this tubing too much and I don't like it. go all right because you didn't see it on the other side um, because of uh, on the other hose this hadn't been messed with yet I just went ahead and slipped both sides of the collar on um, I taped this just to keep the collar from sliding down while I was doing everything but this is the collar and you'll see it's gonna come down here and um, stop there now like I said you need the special tool and you need one for each size of hose you use some Oh, this is about a red, red horse product I'll use. Um, put it in here. Oh, came loose. All right, so put it in here and you just spin. Now, what you're doing here is you'll see you're just expanding that hose. Still didn't get that right. There you go. Come all the way in. And then once you're deep, spin it out. Then you'll notice that it comes out of the sleeve a little bit. So then you take your fitting, which is still in the car. All right, so once you get here, you'll pull this forward until it's flush with those, with the uh, stainless, uh, sleeve and you'll see that's how much needs to be cut off so then you take your knife 
and you can just cut this off. All right, so once you get that flat, you can slide this in, slide that on, and that's it. So that'll be your hose. Now I put it back on the car, test fit it, make sure everything's good before you mail it off and get the wrong piece back like I did last time. So here we go. All right, so you'll see I've got my 90 that we just made here. And that goes up over the steering rack, down over to a 45 into the passenger side oil cooler, which is the feed line for the system. So that hose is done. I will take it off. I will tape it here and then I'll mail it off to BMRS with the four other hoses I'm about to make. All right, so like I said, that's pretty much all you have to do to make these hoses up. Throw them in a box when you're done. Slap a label on there. I'll throw a little note in that that says, crimp these up, you guys are awesome. And in a few days, they'll get them back to me and I'll have hoses done. So uh, another short little video, just so you can see how I made the hoses so that uh, since all that other footage had gotten lost. All right, well, I was going to say welcome back, but I'm going to go ahead and interrupt the end of that video and I'm going to finish it up. So like I said, they get them back to you pretty quickly. So as I was actually editing this video, I got a ding at the door and what do you know, it was UPS dropping off the BMRS hoses that I sent out to get crimped. So um, I went ahead and had them recreate this high pressure PTFE line that was for the um, power steering pump. So basically they just take it equal size little note that says hey make me this hose what it was for they made it up for me now uh and then they made me the five other hoses that we made in the other video or earlier in this video and here they are so we're gonna get those put on the car so you can see where those are gonna finish up being now if you remember me saying i forgot what i was gonna say so the other nice thing about the BMRS hoses when you have them crimp them for you is they're going to pressure uh, test them. So the nice thing about that is I've had other fittings fail at the O-ring where it swivels uh, under high pressure temperatures and things like that. So BMRS actually pressure checks all of the hoses that they crimp. So you know when you get it back, you're gonna be getting a hose that's 100% and it shouldn't leak unless something else is wrong, potentially at the fitting it's at, at the at the flare end itself that might be wrong or something like that. So anyways, let's get the car in the air because I wasn't planning on doing this except for that this uh, came in the mail today. So let's get the car in the air and let's get some hoses on. All right, first things first, let's do this power steering one real fast. That we'll do that one, and then we will do the oil. So it's easier just to pull this pulley off real quick. So just wanna make sure that your fitting is free as it goes up there. 
And then because this isn't a swivel, you're going to want to line this up first. So go ahead and get this one going. Make sure that you got that where you want it. Then you can tighten it down because this isn't a swivel again. So you'll need this hose to be in the positions that you want it to be when you tighten it down. All right. That hose is on and done. All right. So that's that hose. Let me get my dash 10. The dash 10 is going to go on the oil pump here. All right, so like I said, the 90 will go here. This will come up to here. And these will all get tightened down once we get all the hoses in the right, right orientations. All right, so for this one, we're going to have, this is a 45 that comes out. And this is going to go to um, a straight. Now this is a 90, but we're going to have this come out to a straight. The one cable, one cable. Okay, so you'll see this hose here. This is gonna come up and over. And it's gonna come right down on there. Perfect length. And then this one here is gonna come up and over down underneath here. And it's gonna come straight on like that. Okay, so that was the end of the video now. I promise there's no more hoses to do. So uh, thanks for watching. Again, uh, Brown and Miller Racing Solutions, BMRS hoses. They also sell wiring. So if you want motorsport grade wiring, they sell that as well there. You can get Deutsch connectors. Uh, you can get some nice fancy um, zip tie holders. Get some nice fancy zip tie holders. I glue these on. You can screw them on and yeah uh, i hope that this was helpful and maybe you will jump into the bmrs world of fittings again they're not much more expensive than some of the more generic brands but they're just a much higher quality like i would pay probably double uh to use these fittings and you don't pay double so anyways uh catch you next time like subscribe comment share and talk to y'all later. Power by your old show.